Okay, in this video we'll take a look at, given an original graph, how do you make a quick sketch of its second derivative? And before we start this, I will remind you that I would definitely watch the video that shows you how to make a quick sketch of the first derivative, uh, so that, because the techniques explained in that video are exactly what we're going to use in this one. Now what we'll do is this, here's the original graph, uh, will be this blue graph right here, we'll call this one Y, so that's going to be graph of Y. And what we'll do is, the technique will involve this, make a quick sketch of the first derivative of this graph on this line, on this grid right here. And then, since the second derivative is nothing more than the derivative of the first derivative, we will repeat that process and we'll sketch the second derivative down here. So the idea is, put the first derivative on this graph, then make a quick sketch of its derivative, and you'll have the second derivative of the original function. Now we're going to use exactly the same techniques that we used in those previous videos. And like I said, I'll assume that you've watched that and are familiar with that. So let's go ahead and real quickly sketch the first derivative. Now to begin with, we'll find uh, where the first derivative crosses the x-axis, and that occurs wherever the original graph has a horizontal tangent. So I'll come into here. I've got a horizontal tangent right here, so the slope right there is zero. I'll come straight down from that point, and that means the first derivative graph has to go through zero right there. Uh, I've got a horizontal tangent up here, so again, the slope right there is zero. I'll come straight down from that point, and the first derivative graph has to go through the x-axis right there. And finally, one more over here, um, horizontal tangent, uh, slope of that line is zero. So, since the derivative gives you the slope of the tangent line, it's got to go through zero right there. And again, these are using exactly the same techniques in the movie that shows you how to sketch the first derivative. Now that divides it up into these intervals. We'll kind of put some interval lines up here. You've got one that looks kind of like this, um, like this, like this, and so on. So really you've got four intervals. This one, this one, this one, and this one. Now you have to decide, is it the derivative graph above or below the x-axis in each of those intervals? Well, in this first interval, the original graph is decreasing, so wherever you draw a tangent line, the slope of that tangent line is going to be negative, so that means that in this interval, the first derivative graph will be below the x-axis. It'll look like that, negative. Then in this interval in here, wherever you pick, if you pick any point and draw a tangent line, the slope of that tangent line will be positive, so this one's going to be above the x-axis. It'll look something like this right here. It'll be positive. Then in this third interval, wherever you pick a tangent, uh, the, the original graph is decreasing in this interval. All the slopes of the tangent lines are negative, so the derivative graph will drop below the x-axis and look something like that. Negative in here. Then, finally, um, in this interval up in here, the original graph is increasing. Wherever you draw a tangent line, it'll be positive. So this will switch back to positive in this interval over here. Okay, so what that is, this red graph represents uh, a quick sketch of the first derivative of the blue graph. But what you want, you want the second derivative. So to get the second derivative, all you have to do is repeat the process. Just pretend that this red graph is an original graph, make a quick sketch of its derivative, and you'll have the second derivative of the original graph. So let's do that real quick and see what it looks like. And again, just repeat exactly the same process. First step is to identify where we have a horizontal tangent. So I've got a horizontal tangent right here. So in this case, the slope of this graph is equal to zero. Go straight down from there, plot a point on the x-axis. Then I've got another horizontal tangent about right there. So again, the slope right there is equal to zero. Go straight down, and that means its derivative has got to go through here. Now again, it kind of divides it into intervals. We'll put a black line here to sort of represent these intervals. So I've got an interval there and an interval over here. So I've got one, two, three intervals. Now what's going on in each interval, and it'll tell you whether to sketch above or below the x-axis here. So again, in this interval right here, the red graph is increasing. So if you draw a tangent line at any point, the slope of that tangent line is going to be positive. And what that tells you is that the derivative, its derivative, will be positive or above the x-axis. It'll be positive in here. Then in this interval right here, the red graph is constantly decreasing. 
wherever you draw a tangent line, the slope of that tangent line is going to be negative. So what that means is in this interval, it, the graph of its derivative will drop below the x-axis and become negative, like that. And then finally in this last interval, the red graph is constantly increasing. Wherever you draw a tangent line, the slope of that tangent line is positive, so the graph of the derivative will switch back to positive and go up like this. And there you go. That black graph represents the second derivative of the original function. And that's all there is to sketching a second derivative graph. So it's actually a pretty easy process, a two-step process. So if you want the second derivative of any function, one way of doing it is to quickly sketch the first derivative, then make a second sketch of its derivative, and you'll have the second derivative of the original function.